Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What are the elements to prove negligence? To establish a negligence claim, several key elements must be demonstrated. These elements are fundamental in determining whether a defendant can be held liable for the injuries or damages suffered by a plaintiff. Duty. The first element involves the existence of a legal duty that the defendant owed to the plaintiff. This duty is typically defined by the relationship between the parties and the circumstances of the case. For example, a doctor owes a patient a duty to provide competent medical care, and drivers owe other road users a duty to operate their vehicles safely. Breach of duty. The second element requires that the defendant breached this duty of care. This means the defendant failed to act as a reasonably prudent person would under similar circumstances. For instance, a driver who speeds, drives drunk, or fails to yield to pedestrians has breached their duty of care. Causation. The third element involves causation, which has two components, cause in fact and proximate cause. Cause in fact means that the plaintiff's harm would not have occurred but for the defendant's conduct. Proximate cause requires that the defendant's breach of duty was the direct cause of the harm and that the harm was foreseeable. This means the defendant should have anticipated that their actions could result in the type of injury the plaintiff suffered. Damages? The final element is damages, which means the plaintiff must have suffered actual harm or injury as a result of the defendant's actions. This harm can be bodily injury, harm to property, or in some cases, emotional distress the plaintiff must be able to demonstrate the extent of their damages to receive compensation. Foreseeability. In addition to these elements, foreseeability plays a crucial role. The defendant must have had reason to believe that their breach of duty could lead to harm. This is often assessed by determining whether a reasonably careful person would have anticipated the injury under similar circumstances. Comparative and contributory negligence. In cases where the plaintiff is also negligent, the doctrines of comparative negligence or contributory negligence may apply. Comparative negligence reduces the plaintiff's damages based on their percentage of fault, while contributory negligence in some jurisdictions bars the plaintiff from recovering damages if they are found to be partly responsible for their own injury. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.